Um, good evening, folks. This is um, the multiple choice um, stage two, uh, sorry, unit two, stage one, um, June 2008 solutions. No calculate. Okay, question number one. Work out the value of the seven in um, 32,715. So the value of the seven is 700 C. Here is the part of a bus timetable. A bus leaves Abbott's Way at 10.45. What time does it arrive at Cheltenham's? Well, it arrives at 10.56. So there's it there, that's its route there. Here are five angles. Work out the angle with, which is acute. So A is acute, so it's smaller than um, 90 degrees. 90 degrees, um, a reflex, an obtuse, and a reflex again. Um, 13,557 people watch a football match. What is this when it's rounded to the nearest hundred? So we go to the hundreds, stop, look, decide, and the five rounds that up. So it is 13,600, which is A. Question five. Here is a sequence of dots. So... Um, how many is in the next pattern? Well, we could draw it all out again, or we can see that each time we're adding on four. So plus four, plus four. So if we add on another four, we would get 17. So the answer is C. But again, you could draw that out if you wanted to. So we would add on one, two, three, four more. So one, two, three dots down and one more. Okay, question six. What are the coordinates of P? So it's along the corridor, up the stairs, so X first, three, two, which is D. Question seven. Look at the number line below. What is the value shown by the arrow? So it's somewhere between 2.2 and um, 2.3. And so it's, we can see it's cut into one, two, three, four, the little five sections there. So it's going up in um, point twos. And then the 2.3. So um, 2.22, 2 2.24, 2.26, 2.28, 2.30. Um, so the one that's shown there is 2.24, which is C. Question 8. Here is a list of temperatures. Bob is going to write down the temperatures in order. He writes down the lowest temperature. What temperature should he write next? Well, if the lowest temperature is minus 7, the next one would be minus 4. So the next one you should write down is minus four. Um, question nine. Work out the size of the angle marked X. Well, touching angles on a straight line add to 180. So this is 70 and, and 60. So 70 and 60. So 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130. So together these are 130. So the one that's missing would be 50. So 50 and 130 would be 180. So the angle is 50. Question 10. Here are the first five terms in the sequence. So we're adding on each time. We're adding on four. So one, two, three, four, the fifth term, the sixth term, the seventh term, the eighth term and the ninth term. And we could go um, 4n, so the difference is 4, n is always n, and the number that would come before is plus 2. So 4 times 9 is 36, plus 2 is 38. But in this case, it's probably just as easy to write on the sequence, carry it on a few. Okay, question number 11 is bod mass, not bid mass, so B-I-D-M-A-S, C, 
So, no brackets, no indices, no division, do the multiplying first. So I've got 13 take away 12 plus 2. Then I do the add-in, 13 take away 14 is minus 1. So the answer is minus 1. Question 12. Here is a rectangle. Work out the area of the rectangle. Where well, the area is um, the inside of the shape. So 5 times 3 is 15 centimetres squared. D. Question 13. What are the coordinates of P? So remember, it goes along the corridor, then up the stairs. So X and then Y. So it's minus 2, 1. Minus 2, 1 is B. Okay, question 14. What is the number written as a fraction? So you're right, remember that um, we had um, the units, then the tenths, then the hundreds, then the thousandths. You might remember that from when you were little. So that one is D. Question number 15. What is minus 5 added to minus 3? So and that's another way of writing, sorry, minus 5 added to positive 3. 3 plus minus 5. So if we're adding some cold, that's going to be 3 minus 5 is negative 2. So again, just being careful on the literacy on that. Question 16. the camera right there. Here we go. Um, triangle PQR is an isosceles triangle. Um, QP is equal to QR. So those are my arms. Yeah, so my arms. So the base angles of an isosceles triangle are the same. So those two are the same. Work out the angle X. Well, the angles in a triangle add up to 180. So those two add to 100, so this one must be 80. So angle X is 80 degrees. Question 17. Sophia has a number of wristbands. We're calling that Y. She gives five of them to her mate. Write down an expression in terms of Y for the number of wristbands Sophia now has. Well, she had Y and she's given away 5, so that is y take 5. So if she started off with 20 and she gave away 5, she would be left with 15, which is 20 take away 5. So y take away 5. Question 18. What is 372.42 correct to one significant figure? So we stop at the first most important significant figure, we look at the next and we decide. So stop, look, decide. Seven rounds up, so that is going to be 400, which is A. Question 19. The area of the triangle, well, if we times those two numbers together, that would give us the area of a rectangle. 80 centimetres squared, and then we would need to half that, so the area of a triangle is 40 centimetres squared. The base times the height, and then we divide it by 2. 40 centimetres squared. Most common mistake there would be to write E. Question 20. Julie spends £25 on scientific calculators, so there are five of each, so she buys five of them. In total, she buys 12 calculators for £46. How many basic calculators does she buy? Well, if she had £46 and she spent £25 
on the posh ones, the scientific ones, that would leave her with £21. So she spent £21 on the basic calculators. Well, 3 times 7 is 21, so she bought 7 basic calculators. Question 21. A train ticket to the city costs £2.85. A teacher buys 26 of these for the school group. Work out the total cost of 26 tickets. Well, it's roughly £3 times 25. So we know the price is sitting roughly about £75. So we can automatically say, well, it's not that one, it's not that one, and it's not that one. So it's one of these two here. Okay, we don't need to work it all completely out because if we do £2.85 and we times that by 26, we have um, 6 times 5 is 30, um, 6 times 8 is um, 48, um, so 48, 49, 50, 51. 6 times 2 is 12, plus the 5 is the 7, and then we can do the next one. So putting down the 0, um, 10, 17, and the 5, £74.10, if you wanted to work it all out completely, £74.10. Question 22. The area of the shape, well this is the trapezium, so we can use the trapezium saw, half the sum of the parallel sides, so 4 plus 7 is 11, half of 11 is 5.5, so half the sum of the parallel sides times the distance between them, so 5.5 times 3, or 3 lots of 5.5, and that would give me 16.5 centimetres squared. Question 23. Here are the, five, the first five terms in an arithmetic sequence. What is the expression in terms of n for the nth term of the sequence? So we may remember that goes D-I-N-O, D-I-N-O. So what is the difference? Well, each time the difference is plus 4, so each time I'm adding on 4, so the difference is 4, n is always n, so the position number, and the 0 would be 1 number comes before the 9, so if we took away 4 that would be positive 5. So the formula is 4n plus 5, and I can check it, check in the first term. 4 lots of 1 is 4, plus 5 is 9. 4 lots of 2 is 8, plus 5 is 13. 4 lots of 3 is 12, plus 5 is 17, and so on and so forth. Question 24. What is the lowest common multiple of 8 and 12? So remember, factor is fewer. So it's a smaller number, so we know it's not smaller, so it's not the number 4 and it's not the number 2. Multiple is more, so we can just list out the numbers which times together um, to give us 8. So the numbers which, um, sorry, in the 8, 16, 24, 32, so the multiples of 8 and the multiples of 12, 12 and 24, the lowest one that comes in common is the number 24. So the most common th mistake there is to mix up the factors and the multiples and get them jumbled up. Okay, question 25 is no longer tested, um, but it's quite a nice little question, so I'll just explain how to do it. So this is the x, so the first number is the x, so we have the 2, 3, 4. The 2 is the x value. 3 is, represents the y value, so how high up it comes, and the z is how far out it comes, so how far out it comes into the 3D picture. So if we have point Q here, well we know that it's sitting 
2 out, so it's sitting um, parallel to that one there, so it's 2. It's sitting flat on the ground, so the y is 0. And the z is how far out it comes, so if you think of like a box, so that coordinate is 2, 0, 4. But again, that's no longer tested, so you don't need to worry too much about that. Hope the video's been helpful. Have a lovely evening.